Yo guys, what's up? I'm starting my random journey on Bnet, and I have one rule for this journey. Every single game must be a cheese. You see, random is of course the most suitable race to play cheese with, because opponents don't know what you are, they don't know what to expect, and are therefore less likely to be well prepared for whatever you're going to be throwing them their way. And if there's anything I like when cheesing, it's a small little unfair advantage. We are undead against... I actually forgot his race, so I guess I have as big of a disadvantage as he did. Oops. Did you guys see his race? Oh, there we go. He's Night Elf. Okay, so he's Night Elf. I'm undead. What are we going to do? Uh, it should be pretty obvious. It's going to be a Ghoul Rush. DK Mass Ghouls. That's going to be the rush. We're not going to place down any uh, any towers. Because we don't have Blight in this base. And I think the cost of getting Blight there is prohibitive. Holy damn. Thank you very much, Meldenic. Appreciate it, dude. It's huge. Good luck, Robbie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's do it. With that amount of luck, I think it's in the bag. My life would <coughs> Hard with that distance. He might get level two from orange. Yeah, he might. Well, I think what makes sense actually is to start harassing now. Don't wait. Start now. Because my ghoul, let's see, his hero is going to come out when my DK is here. So he sees this, he's going to freak out. I already have enough lumber for another crit. So I, I really, there's no need to... Uh... Oh, that's an early archer. He's doing tavern hero. Oh, almost. Try to get this around. Didn't get it. We got enough lumber to cast another ziggurat from the unsummons. Next will be an Acropolis. We have to get cannibalized so I can find critters. Find more critters. Okay, that's one. Let's make this a speed run. Next rush. That's fast. I think we can fit like 10 games in one video. 
<laughs> we either win or lose really fast. Uh, orc, Schnabernack, and I'm Orc too. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a Farseer Fire Lord Tower Rush with 4p on micro. Uh, I explain this probably once a year, and I think it's time to explain it again. Why do I touch my peons all the time? Because some people say if you shake it more than three times, you're playing with it. And while that is true, I'm playing with it for a purpose. You see, peons obtain optimum mining efficiency when you have five. Five peons mine 10 gold per second, or 600 gold per minute. 10 gold per trip once every second. And five peons is optimum efficiency, 100%. The way that Blizzard envisions four peons to work is 80% efficiency. However, with the directionality that gold mines can have to the Great Hall, 80% is not the actual result when you parse the walking distance. So in order to fix that, the engineers at Blizzard created a artificial slowdown because sometimes the peon gets there too early and you may instead have 85 or 90% efficiency of mining. That means it's still less than 100%, but it's more than 80, 95. And that artificial slowdown is achieved by the game recognizing that you have four workers and then the moment a worker is on a return trip and a gathering trip, it starts slowing them down by a bit. You'll actually physically see the peons moving slower. I'll actually show it now. You see how they're moving slower? Then if I give them commands to keep going. So we go through this discussion every time. Uh, why do I keep touching the peons? It's to make them faster. And then people ask, oh, so you get more gold? No, you get, you still get less gold, but you get less, less gold than you would if you don't touch them. So why put four? F five is better. Five is the best. But four with touch is better than four with no touch. But it's not more gold, it's more lumber, because you've got one peon doing lumber instead. So that's why. The 4 peon gold trick is to get more lumber. And what that gets you is a 15 second faster tech than if you were not to do it. So if you're rushing someone with a tavern hero, your hero comes out 15 seconds earlier than if you don't touch the peons. So, you touch the peons. Now we're gonna get war mail. It is certain. My eyes are open. So all of this is fine. We're just kind of keeping him busy, right? I'm gonna start making some grunts. <coughs> and uh, you see how fast my tech is? His just started. One of these wolves is gonna branch off. Kind of surreptitiously, otherwise it's too obvious to the tavern. We're just making sure he's not creeping and stuff. And now we're bringing our peons. Three lumber peons. It's crazy fast. We're gonna tower him right outside burrow range, ideally. Are my wolves gonna last for the tavern? I think so. It's very close. I don't know if this is in range of burrows. I think maybe it is. I don't know since the additional zoom out from Reforged. I used to know the zoom level by heart. Like uh, the, whether it's 800 or 700 range. But that's an early rush. His tech isn't even finished. Oh, it just finished.
He also went for Fire Lord. The primary rushing and anti-rushing hero. Is it rushing fun? He did get fortified burrows really fast, which is wise. Oh, catapult. He did a lot of good plays, man. We're not gonna get it. Are we gonna get it? Oh, we're gonna get it. GG. Nice. Well, well played, sir. GG. <coughs> he did nice. That was two games in 11 minutes. This is how the devs intended the game to be played. Yeah, I think so too. You know, if if you're an aspiring RTS dev and you're thinking of giving defensive structures, ask yourself if you want them to be used aggressively. If the answer is yes, good. But then don't go hypocritically calling them guard towers. Be real. Be real just for a second. Just call them attack towers. Attack towers, yeah, why not? Why is Pala Rifle a strategy but not MK Rifle? Well, technically, um, neither should be that valid. But Pala Rifle is a strategy because uh, you're spamming units, right? And Pala has an aura and MK does not. And also, he keeps them alive. The same reason DK is almost always required for fiends to keep them alive. Palas required for rifles to keep them alive. Yeah, that, yeah. If you want to be pedantic, anything is a strategy. <laughs> it's just not a good one. Do I speak Flemish? Uh, I speak Dutch. I'm from the Netherlands. Flemish is understandable by me, but I don't know how to say it. <coughs> stats. Stats. That's one. He is six and four. Slightly above the average starting MMR. Not bad. Undead mirror. We're looking for a cheese in undead mirror. Should be Crypt Lord and Fiends then. Crypt Lord and Fiends. You know, if I skip. If I skip Tomb of Relics, I could save some money. And then I could get something else. It's Undead Mirror. We're gonna make towers, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, I think we're gonna make towers. You're making a tier D hero? <laughs> yeah, I know. What an idiot, right? <laughs> you mentioned a lot of meta being viable until 2010. What happened that year? Big patch? No, StarCraft 2 happened. Warcraft 3 faded from existence some things that should not be forgotten were forgotten in 2010 all warcraft 3 tournaments miraculously ceased every sponsor you know even my sponsor was saying he wished i was playing starcraft like a year ago already in, like at the beginning of 2010 my sponsor steel series contact was like uh i wish you would switch to starcraft and I was like, I, I prefer Warcraft. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know, man, you do you. I support you either way, but uh, Starcraft is where it's at right now. <laughs> I 
Let's go for another crypt, actually. <laughs> so there was no more, uh... There was no more tournaments. Eventually I switched and he was happy. Supported me for a long time too. In StarCraft. <coughs> Were you sponsored by an organization? Um... I was sponsored by orgs, by three orgs during Warcraft 3. And then when Starcraft began, I had had enough of it about being um, beholden to their business strategies and control. So uh, we made our own organization, Team Grubby. Only member, me. Needless to say, I got all the contracts. Let's go, we're rushing. Does he know? I don't think he knows. I'm flooding in with extra ghouls. I'm kind of surprised Blizzard didn't sponsor you. Well, why would they? I was loyal to death until they pulled Reforged. Oh, he expanded. Good luck keeping that up. His, his base is done, in fact. All he has to do is to keep me alive. Is to keep. Just stay alive. That's it. That's all he has to do. Just don't die. Now he has no TP. Now I do have rather a large army. This is extremely serendipitous for us. For me. Having a rush like this for an opponent that invested three buildings and an expo but has not got the production to actually make use of it. For Team Grubby, yeah. <laughs> for us, the Royal Us. GG. They don't say GG, but I don't mind. <coughs> Max execution. Oh, this guy knows. I know you. Since he knows we're gonna rush, we have to rush him even faster. I think he knows the concept. Today I'm playing random and I'm rushing every game. <coughs> I should have maybe built it here. Ah, oh, gee. Miss Kuzi. Miss Cozy, Miss Cozy. Miss Cozy. Uh, he didn't stream snipe me, he was just playing. 
Your building is your building is Consensual routing. <laughs> Makes sense. I must safeguard the time is now. Oh no, he's not letting me root, is he? Oh oops. This is a danger for Calling. Yikers. Command me. Nature is restless. Well, well. There it is. I feel like that's consensual. Time is now. None shall harm the wild. If he didn't want me to root, why did he leave space? Are you guys still here? Am I lagging? What the hell? Danger. Oh my god. I just went three! Three wins! I have three wins! You saw it! It's in this video! It's all on camera! I'm being gaslit here by Blizzard! Let's restart and see the true result. I have three wins, I swear, for real guys. You have to believe me. What happened? Max execution! What happened? Please. S seven, six, five, four, three, two... My first game was a loss? Really? Really? My first game was a loss. Well, I guess you don't have to watch a Moist Critical video today because you just got your daily rage bait. <laughs> 